What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell, and I'm making a quick commercial here for SeerCustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxana. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Well, hello there guys and gals, wherever you might be around the world. I am Jay Campbell and this is the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm today I'm joined in my virtual StreamYard studio with an amazing young lady by the name of Lana Kerr. Lana, how are you? I'm doing great today. Thank you. So good to be here. It's amazing to have you. So let me give you guys Lana's bio. And I am pronouncing it. Is it Lana or Lena? Lana. You're right. Lana. Lana. See, Lana. I can't even pronounce it. Lana, <laughs> Lena, Lana. But it's Lana. Anyway, mm-hmm. sorry about that. So she is the CEO of Lumesk Skincare, which is actually the home of CO2 Lift Carboxy Gel. CO2 Lift is the first and only scientifically proven gel which delivers carboxy therapy, a natural and non-invasive method for skin regeneration. So this is very cool. Her and I have been talking off air about this amazing product, and I'm actually now super geeked to try it, and so will my wife. Um, So anyway, it uses carbon dioxide to hydrate and reoxygenate the skin, which creates hydration and firmness and lift. So again, very similar to um, copper peptide, which is amazing. Uh, She has devoted her entire life to health and wellness, over two decades of experience as a wellness coach, public speaker, business owner, and best-selling author. She, like me, is in her fifth decade. I'm not going to tell you anything else beyond that, but she does not look like that. So again, credit to you and obviously your amazing uh, line of skincare. So let me just ask you, Lana, first off, thank you for coming on the Jay Campbell podcast. Thank you um, for having me. This is exciting. Of course, it's a gift and an honor and privilege to have you here. I will just say in the gift of gratitude and in the graciousness of the energy of the world right now, I will take a short two second to put energy into this podcast. Okay. Now we're ready. Ready. Let me ask you today is for the purposes of this podcast time, the Thursday, October 21st, 2021. It will probably, this podcast will probably run right around the holidays of this year. Let me just ask you, as I always do on everyone who comes on the Jay Campbell podcast, give me your opinion. And of course, it's an opinion um, of what is going on on planet Earth and what has been going on on planet Earth since essentially we entered the dark night of the soul of humanity when the sea, you know, was initiated across the planet back in April of 2020. It was really March, but most people started to feel this in April of last year. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, my gosh. I wish I got a little more prep for that question, but really, where do I what I see is going on? I mean, this is this has been a total shift for me personally, but I recognize for so many people are forced into re-examining what's truly truly important. Um, I think that um, you know, for me personally, and I hate to say this, but really, that year was actually a great year for me, just simply for the fact that it allowed me to just step back 
to step back because sometimes in 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 my own business and at the part that I or the stage that I'm in my business, I'm just go go go, and uh, you kind of regardless of you know how I I you know in terms of my centeredness and what it is I want, you kind of just forget what's important and you lose sight of it. And that, that has allowed me to really re-examine that in my life and to kind of step back. But I mean, still, it's just what's going on in the world today. I don't know where you are in terms of politics. I don't know that I didn't know that. But we I don't talk politics, but you are more than welcome to speak about anything. No, no, but I mean, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not even going to go there. I'm just saying that <laughs> it's, very, it's, very, it's very kind of scary. For me, I've never been of the mindset of people dictating what it is that I need to do. Yeah, it's um, insane. I just don't like to feel forced into anything. You know what I'm saying? I sure, feel that we all should act in the best interest of ourselves, our family, and of other our fellow humans. And I think people will do that naturally, but to have be forced into things, I've never been of that mindset. So for me personally, I've kind of reserved a lot of my comments on things. No, I mean, well, I mean, remember it is the Jay Campbell podcast. <laughs> Lana, so you can say whatever you want, but I will say, let me just say to what you said, I'm with you. Uh, this audience is with you. Um, I liken this to, as I said, I kind of set you up. This is the collective dark night of the soul because humanity by and large is being forced to awaken. We are being pushed, as you said, coerced very deceptively, almost physically. I mean, go to Australia. It's physical. The planet is on that uh, projected path now. As I always say, every choice is for soul evolution and growth. It doesn't matter what you choose. Just, you know, I'm anti, you know, but if you choose that because you need that as for whatever it is, a form of protection or for, you know, whatever it is that you feel you need it for, then that's fine. I don't judge you. I don't condemn you. It's all good. But as you said, free will is the ultimate volitional tool of humanity. And right now, free will is being removed. So that cannot be a good thing in the big picture. But again, if I'm looking back on my massively high spiritually perched shelf, neutrally observing and unattached, I see that the whole game, because it is a game living in the third dimension is about awakening. Yeah. And so the, the negative energies, the parasitic energies, the dark side, whatever you want to call the people that are creating this fear and dissonance, or attempting, <laughs> not doing a good job, to awaken the people who are in massive fear. And until enough people wake up and not be in fear and be like you, I mean, because I already know what side you're on. I sense your energy. Uh, you know, and say, you know what, my body, my choice, this is my life. I'm sovereign. I'm empowered. I'm free. I'm in control. I have free will. Um, until enough people become like that, then this is just going to continue. Because my feeling is, is that once enough people wake up, all of this ends. It's tyranny. Let's face it, it's tyranny. So it's up to humanity to choose to not want tyranny. And until enough people say, you know what, I'm in control of myself. I'm, you know, looking at the vibrational scale here. I'm personally accountable and I am empowered. Then it's just going to continue. And we're going to have this one side and the other, right? One side is, again, in... I'm in control. I have sovereignty of my soul and my body. And then the other people are like, no, I give away my power to the doctor, to the masks, to whoever is the external force. Cause I don't want to have it. I don't want to have the responsibility for myself. And that, and that's where we are. And, you know, most people right now will say, regardless of what political side you fall in, is that like, yeah, it's either, you know, you're in fear or you're in love and really love is resonance and fear is dissonance. So you just have to choose like what side of the equation you want to be on. It's literally that simple. Amen. Amen. I love it. Okay. So <laughs> now we can shift and be e-commerce business owners and talk about skincare. Okay. So talk about carboxy therapy. So carboxy therapy, um, just to define it is a therapeutic use of carbon dioxide for skin regeneration. And it's a very old treatment. I mean, you're talking about over 85 years old. The only way, though, to be able to do carboxy therapy, and it's primarily done in Europe and in South America, is by using a needle. So you'd get the gas, put the needle in, and it literally, you'll, you, it, well, first of all, crackles is painful, but it's one of the most, it's the quickest way 
to heal your skin. So we, what we have is the first gel carboxy on the market. So when you receive yours, Jay, you see it, two packet, and you mix it together, it forms CO2 gas, you put it on the skin, the gel pulls it into the skin, and you basically, what you experience, there's no pain involved. The gel makes it very versatile, so it goes anywhere on the body, and um, but you're getting the same benefits of using the gas. So what, what, what happens when you put CO2 into the body? It's a very natural process. If you think of it, the, the mechanism of action is actually the Bohr effect, which anyone in, in, in biology, it's like biology 101, you're going to see that when you put, when you put CO2 in, your body has to rebalance itself because normally we exhale carbon dioxide right. and even right. oxygen. So right. if you are now putting the CO2 in, the body's going to be like a scale. It's going to be like, okay, we have to rebalance that area. And so it's going to rush oxygen-rich blood to whatever area is applied. And you're talking about this gel, just to show you how powerful it is, can close a stage three ulcer in four applications. Wow. So it is a non-healing wound. That's how powerful it is. So things that were we created really for wound healing purposes, it has an aesthetic benefit. Mm -hmm. So we have, so carboxytherapy is just putting CO2 in the skin. We have a gel that does it. We have it for the face, the neck, the body, and the vagina for sexual health. You guys have a patent on this. Yes. So this basically is, we, we manufacture in Japan. So the scientists that we work with that created this is that they, they created, the, we actually, it's so interesting because when we launched this, which was launched in 2016, we... We started, we did clinical studies first to make sure to see the properties of this. And one of the properties, no. and we'll get back to the actual, the comparison, but one of the properties is a hydration feature on it. It has over 107, it increases the hydration of the skin by on an average 117%. So I like to say that you don't get old, you dry up. Your skin loses the ability to hold water. So it becomes thinner. And so basically what you're doing is just bringing back the thickness in the skin, making it able to hold the water so your skin actually fills out. So if you think of a, a grape and a raisin analogy, the difference with a raisin and a grape, a raisin is just a dehydrated grape. If you could somehow fill back the water inside of a grape, it will puff out. So, to, and we be, start turning into a raisin after 25, we, we're on that course. Thankfully, yeah. there's things like peptides or carboxytherapy that can slow that process down. So in essence, that would, that's what you're doing. But to go back, what we did is soon after we had many doctors who asked us to compare. So we did another clinical. We compared the injection with the gel. They used something called a video capillaroscopy machine. Sure. And looked under the skin and looked at the capillaries and how they dilate. And the capillaries dilate in the very same way as if you used the actual gas in. It's going to increase. So that rush of oxygen is going to bring nutrition, water. So it's going to promote, it's going to stimulate um, so it's high tissue oxygenation, neoangiogenesis, um, um, neocollagenesis. All these things are happening and it's happening very quickly. I'm literally fascinated. <laughs> I, did, I had no idea that I was bringing you on the show to talk about this stuff now. So I'm going to dork out, geek out. Um, so not to flatter you, but clearly you're using this on your own face because yeah. your skin is amazing. My face, my neck, my vagina. So that's the first, well, I'm not going to talk about your vagina. <laughs> I, I think I'll get in trouble, but, um, but your face and your neck, we can definitely talk about now again for the Jay Campbell audience. Everybody knows I have a sear custom and, you know, we have this amazing product now and here I am talking to Lana about her product. Now I, I will say to you, this is going to be funny. Um, there's so many people now that message my assistant, you know, can I get on the Jay Campbell podcast? And I, you know, I go through them. She sends me an email update once every two days about potential podcasts. And when I saw your name, I saw CEO of Lumesk and I was like, oh yeah, bring her up. But I never imagined that this was going to, the universe was going to connect us. Um, do you have a science background? No, I'm actually an accountant. I was, uh, <laughs> I was with KPMG. That's where I started off. And then I went into finance. But that is so awesome. But that's perfect training to be a uh, be an e-commerce business owner. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. and we and actually Jay. Um, so I, <laughs> I can tell you things. So I went and then I was into investments. I left accounting, went into finance with Smith Barney, 
and went, but during that time, went back to school, studied nutrition and started weight loss clinics. So it was, it was just, it, it, it came, it, it, it's funny how things come to you when you're yes. thinking about it, but um, yeah, no, I just always been into wellness, into making yourself, you know, the, the best possible version of yourself Amazing. and just kind of fell into, fell into to, to my life. Be, be as my wife Monica says, be the best you ever, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's amazing. So, I mean, I'm fascinated about this product. Then, so when you open it, like, what is the life cycle of? Like, how long does it last when you open it? Like, like, how long does a product last after it's opened and combined? I mean, like, what is the life cycle? Okay, so it has no expiration until it's mixed. But once you mix it, and I really wish that we I had sent you this before we actually actually met. No, we can do a follow up. We'll do a follow up. <laughs> It's, I'm trying to think, but basically, once you mix it, the two packets together, it, it's a gel. It forms yeah. a gel. Yeah. It's very cooling. It has no. It has a fresh smell to it. Instant scent. absorption. I'm assuming, right? In the, yeah. It's benign too, so that's why they right. put it on open skin. Right. But you put it on, and it's very cool. So it's very cooling on the skin, and um, so there's no pain at all. And then you, it kind of dries, but not really dries because it doesn't peel off. Like a like a like you're doing a a, a mask that one of those peel off masks. It's basically a jelly substance texture, so it kind of rolls off, and you're good to go. If you check out the Instagram or anyone checks out the Instagram CO two lifts, you'll see a lot of people always do it and they 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 enjoy doing it because it's a very fun peeling it off is actually very fun. But it peels off all together, and of whichever area, especially the neck is what I always recommend for women to do particularly. But it's um it's just a gel. And once you do one, you're going to get an instant result. So after you finish 45 minutes, you leave it on, you get an instant result. But, but to do to do it right, to keep the hydration in the skin, we yeah. recommend one a week for three weeks, like everything, always in threes, and then you can maintain with once a month. That's why Jay Campbell, my social media uh, handle is Jay Campbell three three three. Okay, you see. So wait a minute. So you, I'm I'm literally mind blown at this point. Okay, so. The, I mean, that was the magic thing. So it's not going to bankrupt me. My wife is not going to go out and spend like $10,000 to order a month's supply today. How, so what do we, so obviously there's going to be a discount for everybody uh, in the Jay Campbell audience and it's going to be JC and you're going to get 15% off. But like, what does, I mean, I would assume that you sell this in um, three month, six month. I mean, how do you guys market and promote this? So, okay, so just, you know, we started off just with dermatologists and plastic surgeons. So that's sure. how we started off. Right. And, um, we got really, I mean, there when you go to a derm office and get a carboxy done, when we initially done, you're paying for that one treatment, you're paying right. anywhere from 200 to $300 for the treatment. Right. right. So we had made, our, our, our team had made a decision that we would stay with the core skincare professionals for the sure. first year. By year two, we started getting a lot of, traction because a lot of yeah. these surgeons had clients who one one particular one I can remember this was a doctor his name is Dr. Brian Beisman he's in Nashville Tennessee and he had a client uh, Mallory Irving and she did it for her wedding and when she when she we weren't so we weren't e-commerce at all she did it for her wedding her when when she went to Dr. Beisman and said what can I do to make my skin look great this is great for my wedding he says well this the CO2 lift carboxy he did one in the office. She posted it. She loved it. She said, every dermatologist should have it. Jay, when I looked at our social media, which at that time we had nothing, it went from 200 followers to probably 6,000 in a one month, just from her saying it. So eventually we met, we decided that we're going to do an online version. So we did a little, it's, it's not the same strength as the pro version, but it's still strong enough to close a stage three ulcer wound. So we have, we launched in 2017, the CO2 lift for the, where people can buy direct to consumer. So that was in 20, November, Thanksgiving of 2017. And then from then on, so we have, and then of course, then we developed um, that we have the carboxy mousse, which is similar to using CO2 as, as a, it's like a daily conditioner for your skin. Um, the carboxy, you do it once a month. Um, I do it every two weeks. Um, and, uh, and then we then we developed this year we have we launched the CO2 lift fee. Mind blown. Mm -hmm. I literally just sent my my wife Monica a text and said, "Your you uh, the miracle may have just occurred." Uh, and I also just sent my business partner 
some information. I said, you need to look into this like right away. And I'm like, what do you know about it? And he's like, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm deep diving. So, okay. So I'm like massively fascinated. Like I'm even like in my mind, as I told you before this podcast started, I was like, uh Oh, there might even be a partnership in somehow capacity of this. We can align with you guys. Um, okay. So on the skin, men and men and women, you know, into fitness, um, you know, already taking good care of themselves, forties, fifties, you know, fit training, cardiovascular, eating right, low inflammation, blah, blah, blah. Uh, how are they going to use this to best? You know, I mean, can you put this on your chest? Can you put this down around your abdominal region walls? I mean, obviously, you know, we use this, you know, in the vaginal, obviously it can be applied to the penis, but like, give me some more application reasons to use. Um, okay, so you use it for, for I like the for male, female, I mean, the face and the neck is a must, but certainly on the body is a great place to use. I mean, I know that people do it when they do any kind of, there's so much therapy now going on in terms of body contouring, um, like for instance, so on the anywhere on the body as well, you mentioned the penis is one, they're using it for blood flow to get stronger morning erections. And it's not something that you need to do every day. You basically do a series. Men are finding about five of them. And then once that you're good to go, when, when things start falling, you know, soft, <laughs> then you can re, 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 do it again. Uh, but again, anywhere on the body is good. Um, but if you get a bruise, I know we talked about before this, you know, MMA fighters, you know, when they fight and they have bruising, you're putting it on because it's going to help to get rid of that very quickly. They're using it in their hair to grow back because think of PRP that they're using it. It's the same, almost same principle. I had a, 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 a live with a doctor in San Diego. Wow. Oh yeah. It's so funny. She, you're in San Diego. She, um, her name is Tara Brown. She's an oculoplastic surgeon who recently got diagnosed with breast cancer. So it's breast cancer awareness month. We had it and she used it to grow back her hair because she can't use anything. Dude, you're blowing my mind right, right now. I'm like texting Nick right now. Like, dude, it also regrows hair. Yes, because it's it's blood flow. So yeah, it's the same thing. So, yes. so so we all know you included, not the audience enough, that hair loss is not due to DHT. It's not due to genetics. It's not due. It's due to epigenetics, but it's primarily due to blood flow restriction to the scalp. So anything that can improve blood flow, which obviously carboxy therapy does, so does GHK carbon copper peptide GHKCU. So does carbon 60. There are other things, but I mean, I mean, my brain is like exploding right now because if carboxy therapy can actually go into our product, we can make a phase four product with this. I mean, so how long does it remain stable? Just to add to that, not only for hair inflammation, too. Yeah, of course. It suppresses inflammation. inflammation. Yeah. So that's what the product does. It reduces inflammation because it basically opens up the highway. So it gets waste out very quickly. But you see, once you, mix it the thing is you have to use it right away and it's only good for 45 minutes in other words after 45 minutes it has really no value you okay know, so guess what i just figured it out it, you would i'm already partnering with you on my podcast right now no we would literally create a satchel you know in a strip foil deal with a liposomal formation of carbon 60 with probably another stabilizing peptide or stabilizing agent with your stuff. And then they just rip it open and it's like, apply to the scalp, massage the scalp, mm -hmm. use red light, anything else, whatever, you know, other adjuvant that will increase um, angiogenesis. Um, dude, I mean, I, I can't believe I don't know about this, actually. I thought I had heard everything. Well, listen, I cannot wait for you to try. I think once you try it, you'll see. I think that the be the still is going to be one because it's the same thing with 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 other like I'm looking at combination therapy. It's if you apply, I don't I don't really know much about I'm looking forward to getting yours to to see. But it's going to be when you put yours in, how long do you keep yours in for? Uh so I mean it just, you know, you it's absorbed obviously into the skin immediately. The 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 water-based serum is instantaneous and then the B I'm sorry. Uh, I'm talking about the facial stuff right now. I'll talk about the hair stuff in a, in a second. But the 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 moisturizer, which is called uh, Sky Blue Cream, is an emollient. So it has goat's milk in it. So the carrier molecule is goat's milk. Again, to moisturize, to seal. It's pretty instant. For the hair product, 
Uh, serum A is the same copper peptide at a 3% uh, solution, uh, or I'm sorry, 3% grade. And it's, you know, it's um, the stabilizers are um, garden variety stabilizers. And then B, serum B is carbon 60 and it's in a grapeseed oil extract, very, very thin. So it actually textures the hair. I mean, it's in my hair right now. Um, I think no. J.O. is going to be used. Just from you telling me, no, I'm sorry, not to-, to No, no, good. Head. Cut me off, I feel free. I, I really feel that what is going to be the best thing is just you would use it and you use yours how often? Uh, I mean, you know, depending on the rate of loss, how aggressive your hair loss is, you know, what kind of, uh, you know, okay. damage you've experienced through, uh, you know, inflammatory irritants or whatever. Um, once a day, once some a day. people okay. put it on twice a day, AM and PM, but we tell people once a day is enough. It's going to be it's definitely going to have to be, I feel just from you telling me, put it on because what it's going to do is open up whatever you is drive, whatever you put on after into the skin. Yeah. So you do the carboxy first and then, right. you put it on, and then it's going to even be right. it's like pump therapy, like, because it's going to explode. It's going to exponentially right. the benefits of what you're doing too, because it's driving it even further into the skin because that's what CO2 does. And that's what we try to do with our carboxy mousse. Half the can is CO2 gas. So we have all these great ingredients and when you mix them together, it's gonna to just drive it further into the skin. So in, in terms of coupling with what you're doing and your the great uh, products you have, it would be the same thing, but you wouldn't need to do a carboxy every day. You see, you wouldn't right. need to, yeah. But like a once a week with carboxy? Yes, once a week with carboxy as what is called the loading dose. And, and then after that, you can maintain it with, you know, either monthly or even twice a month after that. Very, very interesting. I'll yeah. probably have to do a call with you and Nick. You guys can geek out. Um, very, very fascinating. Okay. So um, how did you actually get into this? So this was, so in this, okay. So we did very well in our weight loss thing. And I don't know your opinion on this, but I can tell you, we did, it was very controversial at the time. So 20 years ago, when we opened your fat loss coach, we started using, we, we did a lot of coaching. So coaching to change the way you think. So subconscious restructure, but we needed a way to help people quickly lose body fat. And we did use HCG and we still do. And we believe in it as a way to very quickly reduce, but you have to help people to understand the change their mindset. Anyway, so that's what we did. Then we, but we had locations. When our model changed and we went more online, um, what we did, we only had one location. And in that one location, it was a, a, a med spa. And just, you know, I have no business running a med spa. In fact, that's not even my passion to do it. I just said, we have an office. There are people come in, they want to look good as well. So we opened one and, um, you know, trying to find products that were going to be as great as what I we felt that we had with your fat loss coach. You know, of course, people sell you all different things. But I had a client who was very wealthy and I was coaching her and she was her skin looked incredible. Jay, I mean, and I said to her, what do you use on your skin? So she told me that one of the secret was carboxy therapy, which she had done in Europe. Yeah. And I was like, never heard of it. And we said, of course, what do we want to get this. Just it was fascinating. We couldn't you can't bring the equipment in. It's You have to bring it on the low. Um, the FDA doesn't really. And it's and then even if we brought it in. How do we really maximize the benefit? So we started doing research and that's how we got together with these scientists in Japan. And this long story short, we got together, then we formulated this thing. And before we launched, we did our first clinical. And once we saw one of the main properties was the hydration, which I talked to you about, we're like, no, this is this. And when you see the before and after immediately, we said, this is good to go. And we launched at um, G-Derm, which is a dermatology meeting. I know what it is. I know what it is. And we'd launched that and it just, after that, it just took off. The, the physician saw the benefit right away. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with US Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light.
So let's talk about your passion and wellness and fitness and, uh, you know, helping people optimize their life. Where did that come from? I, I would assume, are you an athlete? You know, I'm a, I'm a runner. I don't, I don't know. I, I'd like to think of it as an athlete. My husband says yeah. unless you're in a team of like playing football or basketball yeah. as an athlete, but I've done 10 full marathons. Um, but I wow. never, I, I have, um, where did it come from? Actually just growing up, I've always, all my friends have always been in the beauty business. They've been, there were models and, and I just like to be around that the people who are competent, you know? And right. so that when I went and then my brother got sick, that's really got us into the wellness part. He had um, something called ITP, idiopathic thrombocytopenia. It's a blood disorder. Well, wow, I've never heard of it. That creates another disease. And he developed a partner disease. He developed was colon cancer and this ah. journey to, and that was at 16. And I'm, you know, how much older am I than him? I'm eight years older than him. So going through that process with my parents and then looking into natural stuff and, and really that's what helped Kyle to get back his health and get back his life. I mean, Kyle is his five kids married. He's that's fine. awesome. So he had colon cancer in his teens, colon cancer, in his teens. Yes. Wow. Did he have uh, did he have part of his bowels uh, dissected or, or resected or anything? They wanted to actually they wanted to remove his spleen. I mean, they wanted to, they, the, it's a conventional way of treating him. We, we, we decided against it. And I tell you. The, this this the the product that actually I, I still take it today, but it really I attributed Kyle's healing to it. It was Tahitian noni, so it's a long. That's like many many years ago, but that's got me on. You know, when you start on that path, Jay, you kind of exposed to more and more of that sort of thinking, yeah. and that's what got me into thinking in that direction as opposed to doing just typical conventional Western medicine. There are other ways that I think that are more effective. Yes. And, you know, no damage. So that's kind of got us on that path. And that's what got me in that direction. Well, I mean, look, both of you and I know, and I, you know, I think I was the guy that coined the term sick care, right? So it's like, you know, that's like one of my claims to fame. So, I mean, I, I don't, whenever someone gives me an opportunity to destroy Western medicine, I will, but I mean, Western medicine is a joke at this point. There are so many alternative paths, you know, from functional medicine, preventative medicine, optimization, healthcare, as I call it, you know, wellness. I mean, so many people have a different, you know, term for it, but I mean, Western medicine, Lana is dead. Okay. Treating symptoms with expensive pills and bullshit medications, obviously experimental. I don't even have to say anything beyond that word. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, again, you choose what you want. You can choose to be, you know, using carboxy therapy, using copper peptide, any peptides, therapeutic hormones. I mean, these are people like you and me. And again, the great majority of our audiences, you know, who want to optimize, they want to take ownership. You know, as my good friend, Dr. Jim Meehan says, you have to become the scientist of your own health, right? I mean, you really, really do. So it's like, if you're one of those people, you're not going down the sick care medical route anymore. You're not coming to me or to you and saying, but my co-payment is $40. And it, you know what I mean? Like people literally are now like, no, it's not about like, can I afford it? It's I can't afford not to. I want to live 30 years longer. I want to live 20 years longer. I mean, you know, I'm building a course right now on hormones. That's without a doubt going to be as of now, the best course on planet earth. I put a lot of money and a lot of time into it. And you know, I have, I created a chart that shows the value of optimizing now versus not optimizing and getting sick yes. and having a heart attack or having some form of cancer, you know, and, 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 you know, and priced everything out. So people will see this, but I mean, Lana, let's just be honest. I mean, like the way I say it, and I've said this before, but I'll say it to you too, is if you can't afford to spend three to $10,000 a year on your personal health care, then you have your priorities out of order. Yeah. That's what people are spending on other things. I mean, you're the, you're the vehicle, you know, you spend your car, you're the vehicle. I, I really right. believe that that's really should be the first priority. And um, the thing is that, you know, for me, you know, medical Western medicine, I mean, it has this place in, in terms of crisis, right. you know, but we cannot rely right. on that for, for, for taking care of us. And when we, we need, I'm not, we need our doctors, we need our surgeons, you know, things happen. We need some help, but you need a life flight helicopter. If you're in that tragic accident, right? Yes. Yeah. 
then to maintain health and to feel good about yourself. And you're talking about living 20 years more, but we're talking about living quality life 20 years right, more. Right, exactly. You know, looking and feeling like we, we're full of life to live that 20 years. And that's kind of what we're on the page of. Um, how do you do that? You don't do that through Western medicine. No. That's through no, you don't. things that are going to help build up your body and build up your spirit, you know? Beautiful. I love your accent. You know, I hear the the Jamaican in you and I hear sometimes like a little bit of New York in you. It's, it's hilarious. And then I, sometimes I feel like I have a little bit, you have a little bit of a European accent, but that's probably from just from Jamaica. Right. Yeah. Cause it's such a yes. influx. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's awesome. It's very cool. Um, okay. So the, a couple of last bullet points and then you know, we'll tell people how they can buy your product and how they can reach out to you and stuff. But uh, how does someone become the absolute best version of themselves? Oh Lord. Um, well, I think that we're broken into mind, body, spirit. So we absolutely have to address those three areas. And it's still a process. I mean, I don't think we can ever really arrive. You know, I think we just constantly, you know, I, I turned 50 and I'm still learning about myself. I think it's so difficult. I know this is kind of off of that question, but I think it's so difficult for people who haven't been through where you are to tell you what you're going to experience. <laughs> you know, it's kind of, and I was very, I would say presumptuous in that respect. When I was in my thirties and talking to women in their forties and fifties and telling them, Oh, this is what you need to do. It's really presumptuous because the truth Absolutely. is you, you don't, I'm now 50 and I'm seeing a difference. It's very difficult to do it. So everyone, you, you know, you talked about everybody's unique, but, it's a journey. And I think that we just constantly have to keep questioning ourselves. And if you ask the right question, things will come to, you know, how can I be the best version of myself? So taking care of your, your body, you know, obviously all the basics, you know, water, sleep, you know, prayer, all of those things are important, you know, uh, for your body, taking care of your mind, reading, educating yourself and your spirit connecting and being in nature, I think all of those things that we could ex go into all those areas and spend a long time doing that, I think that and look for the most natural way and yet effective way to do it, I think we can become a better person every day. Beautifully well said. Um, how is skincare the ultimate form of self-care? Because that's the largest organ that you have, <laughs> you know, and that's what is the barrier that protects inside. The skin actually protects everything inside. But um, I really think it enhances the mind-body connection. I think by taking care of yourself, taking care of your skin, taking care of the skin, and I know you, you're not even addressing this, but I keep throwing this in, but the skin for a woman, because I'm a woman, especially the skin between our legs, which makes us celebrate our femininity, gives us control, it gives us power. By doing that, I think it reminds us of how each of us, when we do that, when we take care of us, how special each of us are. And it helps us to treasure our, our lives and our bodies. So skincare to me, and that, because that's what you, people are seeing, I think it's definitely one of the most ultimate forms of self-care and should never be neglected. I mean, I, I agree with you. I mean, you know, my wife is very similar to you. I hope that you guys have the, the benefit uh, of being at some point. Um, but I mean, I think a woman's, beauty and grace is tied into the way they age. And I know that that sounds sexist to probably some people that listen to me, but it's not true. I mean, I think women aging is definitely tied to the aesthetic of how they work to prevent visible signs of aging. You know, because it's true that women biologically transform a lot more because they give birth, Right. And so gestationally, you're providing for another being, food, hormonally, all these things. So it's like you guys go through way more than men do. It's just kind of the way it is. And so like when you see a woman like yourself that has beautiful skin, you know, and I mean, hopefully it's you've only lived one third of your life, right? Technology is improving. But in, in traditional terms, in middle life, we're both at 50. Um, it's a sign of power. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's a sign of like, this is a person who is in control. Of their life. They're aging gracefully. You know, one of the things that we're doing right now with the Sears, is like we're talking, we're in talks with Endeavor in Hollywood and they are a huge talent agency. 
that represents all these big celebrity names. And, you know, they want to give us a couple of celebrity endorsements to promote our product and stuff. And so we're thinking about like this very thing that you and I are talking about, like, who is a man and a woman in middle age who represent power and that they are resisting aging gracefully. And at the same time, they're embracing that, hey, I'm cool and I'm aging and it's okay to age. But I'm doing the best that I can, you know, through health optimization, through using whatever therapeutics and adjuvant, carboxy, copper peptide, you know, there's a million other things. Red light therapy, I can think of a million things, you know, infrared saws ice baths, whatever it takes, right? Like that's kind of where people like you and I are, as long as it's not harming other beings, we're going to do what is necessary, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I think, and as people continue, I'm glad for, for, for talks and podcasts like yourself that helps people get keep informed because people don't have time to do all the research, which right. we do. And so this is keeping people informed and technology is improving so that there are ways to stay youthful and um, and and continue to age, you know? So and as if we want to live a longer time, then certainly we want to look, you know, I, I, I saw something the other day where they showed a 50 year old and it was what the girl, one of the girls from the Golden Girls was 50 year old. It was like a picture of her. And then you saw JLo at 50, you know what I'm saying? It's like, our our perception of what it means to be 50, mine has definitely changed. I thought 50 was old. It's definitely you just start living. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, not at all. So I think just to answer and get back to what you're saying in terms of just, you know, skincare is truly important. For men, for male and for men, oh, absolutely. skincare yeah. is important. You, it makes you feel good. Um, it makes you feel confident. And, and when you feel good and you feel confident, you can just be better to everyone else. It's hilarious. I'll just tell you, um, they're recommending uh, Christy Brinkley. You know, now Christy is 68. And now I guess she, and I don't follow people at all in any capacity, but she also has a daughter now who's following in her footsteps is like 24 or 23. And so they're, rep they're, they're recommending her and her daughter to be the celebrity endorsers for our product. Uh, and the reason, by the way, we have this uh, uh, potential relationship is that the owner of Endeavor uses our hair product and he's completely regarded as hair. He's like, it's the greatest thing ever, right? So he's like pushing them to like support us. But um, it's 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 a fascinating thing. And yes, I mean, aging gracefully is a job. I mean, you, you know, you, you can't just age gracefully and not take care of yourself. It's not going to happen. But it goes back to what you said. Of, you know, it's it's also beyond physical. It's mind body. You know, there's a spiritual component to it. There's a meditative prayer. You know, inner work, introspection, contemplation, grounding in nature. You know, there's all those things that that, that plays a role. And I think you know, as we move into the higher you know 2020s, going into 2025 and 2030, I think the people on this planet that are going to live the longest and strongest, I like to say, live and love longer and stronger, you know, are going to be the people that take concern and the time to age gracefully. And obviously people, you know, that are going to be doing that are going to be looking for what I call the golden age products, which it seems like, you know, you guys definitely have one. So if people want to connect with you, let me post your um, Instagram and your website. But if people want to connect with you, Lana, and, uh, you know, speak with you, possibly have you on a podcast or whatever, what's the best way for them to do that? The best, well, the best way is actually through the CO2 left Instagram um, that people reach out that way or, you know, emailing us, which is support at CO2 lift. Our website is CO2 lift. Thanks for posting that CO2 lift.com support at CO2 lift. And they request that, or they can DM us on our Instagram at CO2 lift as well. Okay, awesome. And uh, Lana has been so gracious to let me know that they're going to create a affiliate code yes. for the Jay Campbell listening audience. So all you have to do is use J-A-Y-C and you will get 15% off this product. Now, as a fan of this, not using it yet, um, I will let everybody know that I will report back uh, and so will my wife and I will do a video on the results that we get with this because I'm like I said, I'm very fascinated to this and We've been researching it and looking it up while this podcast has been going on. It does, it does seem to offer some efficacy that I'm not familiar with, which again is so beautiful. So I mean, I know the universe brought you and I here together today. 
I truly appreciate Lana, you coming on the show today. Is there any final words you thought you'd like to add? Well, first of all, thank Jay. You're just a ball of energy. I can feel it through this platform. I can feel it. I cannot wait to meet you in person. I love meeting people like yourself and I just enjoyed being here and I cannot wait for you to try the product. I'm going to be shipping it off. Just remember to text me. Yes, I will. And send it off so you and your wife can try it. And uh, I look forward to, to meeting you in person and hearing your feedback on this. And, and thanks for everyone for listening. Yeah, absolutely. So when I shoot the documentary, um, you and I are going to probably be doing dinner. Okay. So that'd be awesome. And I'd love to meet your husband and everything too. And yeah, for sure. My wife is already excited to really text me. So thank you so much for coming on. To so all of you guys, uh, find listeners of the Jay Campbell audience. Remember, support the amazing people like Lana. Go to her Instagram, which is at CO2Lift, or of course, the website, which is CO2Lift.com. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see you guys very soon.